Here's what a stance is, okay? You guys know what a stance is. I'm just talking the detail, okay? When this guy lines up, he's a lefty. Okay, are you lefty? Yep. All right, he's a lefty. I know he's a lefty. Let's say, let's say he's a righty. Believe with your right leg, all right? I know coming out here, this guy's gonna be wanting to double leg and, and, and I have hit, hit a head outside on this side, okay? So I wanna circle to his back leg, all right? I wanna circle to his back leg and then, and then I grab him. Now, when I grab a hold of this guy, I wanna touch it with my head first, okay? I don't wanna reach, all right? If this guy reached to me, that's where I hit my double leg and I'm, and I'm taking him down, okay? It gets him out of positions. A lot of your coaches say, elbows in, you win, right? Elbows in. This is the same thing, okay? When I'm, when I'm tying up with this guy, I want to circle to his back leg. I want to touch him with my head first, then I grab him, okay? So, work on that right now. All you guys got to do is line up, circle to his back leg, and then grab him and move him, okay? Right here. And then the other guy goes. And then he goes, he, he sees I'm righty, circle to his back leg, touches me, grabs me, okay? That's all we're doing. We're in on the leg, all right? You guys all know Thomas Gilman. He drills this a lot. He hits this move a lot, okay? It's pretty simple, but you guys need to know, uh, learn the details, okay? So focus. I drive up, I'm driving up. He, I got his leg right here. Now, I see a lot of guys, all right, their head's either to the outside or their head's down, okay? My head is on the inside of his body and my head's up, okay? This leg is tight to my chest. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna bend my knees, lower my level in my, my hands. This arm is gonna go to the bottom of his, of his, uh, ankle right here okay I'm gonna lower my level and I'm gonna attack with my back hand not my front hand okay, you guys see that not my front hand my back hand is gonna go below his knee all right I don't I don't reach above to the leg right here it's le reaches kind of like a football tackle okay right here below his knee I tackle right here okay get the takedown now I when I when I when I tackle him down, I get my takedown, okay? Right here. Get the takedown. Okay, I, I don't not get my takedown ever, okay? Even if even if I trip him here, all right, and he lands down and I let the leg go, what did I get there? Yeah. Nothing. Okay? Same thing here. I get his leg up in the air, I lower my level right here. I drop down. If I don't drop down and lower my level, I can't reach. Right? I lower my level, I can reach. Right there, tackle. Take him down. Okay, we're switching to the other leg, right? We had a head inside on this leg, now we're switching to a head outside here, okay? What we're gonna do is, my, my momentum, I have to be looking across his body, okay? I don't wanna be looking straight across. I don't, want, or I don't wanna be looking straight, all right? I wanna be getting this guy on one leg. I wanna be getting this guy on one leg. I guarantee you I could beat Anyone in a race who's on one leg, right? Mm -hmm. Then I'm then on two, right? Okay, I, my odds increase when I get this guy on one leg. So my momentum, it has to be driving across and I have to get him on the one leg, okay? If I was going straight and I was going as fast as I can, I guarantee you he can, he can back pedal just as fast as I can run, right? Okay, so he's gonna sprawl. His, his main goal is to get this foot to the mat, all right? He wants to get that foot to the mat and sprawl back. Okay, so I have to be up and into it, okay? All right, the reason why I go right over here, straight across, rather than straight, straight forward, you know, in a match, when you're driving, you go straight forward, and your coach goes, Johnny, you gotta, you gotta drive harder. You're driving, you're definitely hitting with a lot of power, but you're not going in the right direction. You're not getting him on one leg, right? He's on one leg now, he doesn't like this, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna drive up, and as this, as I come up, I'm gonna get his leg in between mine. So stay up. My partner's gonna stay up. Okay, I'm gonna stay up, and I'm just gonna be right here. I wanna see this. Okay, I'm on one leg. I drive up, and I go this way across. I go this way. He's gonna be hopping. Okay, one leg. Okay, I'm here. You know, on his leg. I look up into him. Look at my head. It's up. I'm looking across his back. Okay, I'm not here. I'm not. Hugging his leg right here. Okay, I'm up and no. Like my knees are bent, my back's straight. Let's see, one, two. So what I'm gonna do is, when I grab a hold of this guy, I'm gonna have a collar tie, and he's gonna have a collar tie, right? Collar tie, 
collar tight, okay? Now, I'm gonna have his elbow, he's gonna have my elbow. Okay, you guys see that? He has my elbow on my collar tie, okay? He has a collar tie, I have his elbow. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna create a little space, and all I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna lift his arm up, and as I lift his arm up, I'm gonna shoot to my head outside single, right here, okay? As I lift, I shoot my hand at the same time, okay? I shoot and penetrate, okay? A lot of you guys know what a penetration step is, right? Who knows what a penetration step is? Anyone? All right, it's what right here. I'm lined up, my knee goes over my toe, and I penetrate to the leg, okay? Right there. You guys know when you do penetration steps? Sit up. All right, penetration steps right here. Penetrate to the leg. That's all we're doing right here. What I'm doing is I created a little space to get this arm straight, okay? I pose this arm up and I reach and penetrate at the same time, okay? I'm gonna hit my head outside single. I'm where we started right at the beginning, okay? Then I drive up and I get to here, okay? That's all we're doing. Right here, collar tie, collar tie. I create some space, get this arm straight. Right here, I post and reach, okay? Post, reach, penetrate. I look up into it, okay? One I'm more time. shooting. I'm bringing this hand down to the leg, okay? A lot of you guys are shooting like this, okay? You're, you're posting this hand, and you're going like this. You're grabbing the leg. Look where my arm's at. It's on his head. Okay, I'm going to get whipped to my back. Yeah. I want to I want to shoot my hand and shoot my shot at the same time as I set my, my shot up. Right here. I, I pose, and I penetrate, and I reach for the shot. Now, look where my head's at. It's on the in, outside of his body. Okay, if I shoot on the inside, that's a different shot. Okay, my head's to the outside. Okay, right here, the arm straight. I pose, reach, step up. Okay, I gotta step my trail leg up. Okay, then I drive up and drive into it. Okay, right there. Let's work on it a few more times and then we'll come back in and work on the finish. Okay, one, two, on the leg. Okay, so my setup, here's what it's gonna be. I'm gonna grab an inside tie on this side, and the side that I'm shooting on, I'm gonna grab his elbow. Now look, he has the same tie as me. All right, he has the same thing. He has an elbow, and I have an elbow. Guys, look, pay attention, all right? I have an inside tie, elbow bind. That's what I call it, inside tie, elbow bind, right here. All right, I'm pulling this elbow up. Now look, look where I'm at. My head, it's in good position. I'm shoving his head so I'm in good position, okay? I don't like being forehead to forehead, okay? I don't. I have too much space to cover to take him down. So I like my head in the pocket right here. My head's right in the pocket. He's grabbing an inside time, grabbing his elbow right here. Now I'm gonna circle. I'm gonna circle this leg to me, okay? Circle this leg and pull it to me. All right, I'm not circling away. So he's stepping back. I'm pulling this leg to me. Okay, now when I hit this move. I'm gonna hit a, a penetration or a, a, a shot called a angle knee drop. Okay, an angle angle knee drop is where my knee is gonna land somewhere around his toe right here. Okay, my knee is gonna land somewhere around here. Now my shot, I'm not stepping to the side, I'm not stepping forward, but I'm stepping at an angle right here. Stepping at an angle, splitting the difference. Okay, stepping at an angle, then my knee it drops right here. Okay, my knee's gonna drop right in front of his toe. Okay, as I shoot, I'm pulling this elbow and I'm shooting my hands to the shot. Okay, I pull this elbow right here. I shoot my hands to the shot. Okay, we don't have to take him down yet. I just wanna see this, okay? I circle, I pull his elbow, and I shoot my shot right here. Right there, all right? Pull his elbow, shoot my shot, right there. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Pull his elbow, shoot my shot. Okay, I have a lot of pressure in him. Okay, I have a lot of pressure into him, okay? I'm not swinging my head, okay? I'm shooting to the leg. Okay, I'm not pulling my head like this, okay? I'm shooting to the leg right there. He's already going back, okay? Let's work on that. One, two. Now, we'll start from the setup. I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna hit my shot right here. Now, I'm driving up into him, 
I'm gonna get him on one foot, just like on the head outside single. I'm gonna get him on one foot, I'm gonna drive up. Now look, his leg is tight to my chest. Okay, his leg is tight. All right, now, as I bring this guy up, as I bring this leg up, I'm gonna bring his, his, uh, his ankle, it's gonna come up in my armpit, right here. It's gonna come up, I'm gonna bring it up right here. All right, for you little kids, pay attention, okay? I'm bringing it up to my armpit, right here. Bring it up. I can walk this guy around all day. Okay, he's, it's tight, it's really tight. Now, my back arm, I want it being above the knee, okay? For you older guys, pay attention to this, okay? Back arm above the knee the whole time. That way he can't knee down and limp out, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna trip and I'm gonna block his foot on the back side, okay? You guys, you have to hop on this outside foot, okay? You're gonna hop and trip on the outside of his foot, right here. Now he's gonna go to his hands, he's gonna go to his hands. Now watch, My, I'm keeping his leg throughout the whole move, okay? I don't drop it and then try to take him down, right? Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna circle out. I'm keeping his leg throughout the whole move. I trip, he goes to his hands, I keep the leg. Now I climb up the ladder and I tackle him and get him down, right there, okay? So from the shot, inside tie, elbow bind, right there. Bring the leg up, trip it down. I climb up the ladder, right here. Shoulder in the butt, get him down, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. All right, I'm gonna get a cross wrist, two on one, all right? Here's what, here's what it is, all right? This guy, I have a, I have a cross wrist, and I have a, his elbow right here. I don't have his arm, and I don't reach in between his legs, or I don't, I'm not here, I'm not on the inside of his wrist. This is fine, you can do this, but this, I secured a lot, a lot better right here, okay? I have his, so, you guys see this? I have his wrist, and I have his elbow right here, all right? Usually, to get this arm, you're gonna break this guy down. You're gonna break him down, he's gonna go to his belly, and I'm gonna get his wrist. This guy's gonna build up, all right? I'm gonna let him build up. Now, I like being here, his knee, my knee, his knee, my knee, all right? I don't like being out to the side. Okay, I'm not out to the side on this move. I'm right here. I split, I split his knees with my knees, okay? Now, the whole key to this move is my elbow. My elbow. My elbow goes on the inside of his thigh, okay? I shove, I shove his arm, and my elbow goes on the inside of his thigh, and my head comes under, all right? The reason why I secure this arm with two of my hands is because I roll across my back to tilt him up, okay? I don't like rolling across my back very much, which is why I secure his arm so I don't get pinned, okay? So I'm gonna roll, I'm shoving my arm on the inside of his thigh, and I'm gonna roll right here, okay? I'm gonna tilt him up, okay? The reason why I have my elbow on the inside of his thigh is so he doesn't belly down, okay? He's gonna go, to, go there and he's gonna belly down. But if he was in the saddle right here, all right, I, I have it clamped down on his thigh. Another thing, my bottom leg, I call it my kickstand leg, okay? It's gonna keep him from rolling through. Okay, it's, it's in the mat. You guys see that over here? You guys see my leg? All right, get to where you can see. All right, I'm here. My, my leg's up in the air. The one, that's, the one that's elevating is my top leg. Okay, I elevate his leg right here. Okay, essentially I can let go of this arm, but I'm not going to, okay? I'm not gonna let go of this arm throughout the whole move. Okay, I keep this tight so he can't roll that way and he can't roll this way. Okay? So back, back again, I break him down, he comes up. I'm here, I shove his arm and I put my, my elbow on the inside of his thigh. All right, I don't, I don't roll with my elbow on the outside. I shove and I put my elbow to the inside of his thigh. I roll and I put him in my saddle, okay? I'm not facing him like this, okay? My hips are underneath of his hips, okay? See, I have his hips su supported. Now my leg, it's up and it's, and it's, and it's propped up on his, on his butt right here, okay? Now, his leg's gonna be fighting, and I'm, and I'm elevating right here, okay? He's gonna roll through, then he bases up into a lead, and, he, and he's, he, he know, he's wrestling Spencer. I guarantee you, if Spencer gets this arm, he's probably gonna tilt you up. Yeah, he's gonna try to base out, 
and I'm gonna roll this way so he's gonna shift his hips down so I can't I can't roll through okay now what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna take my knee and I'm gonna shove his leg forward okay this side this side that the, the arm I got the same side I'm shoving this leg forward all right now pay attention I'm gonna elevate and I'm gonna shelf this leg. I'm gonna pick it up on the outside. I'm not picking it up on the inside. I'm picking it up on the outside. I'm shelfing it right here. All right, and I'm clamping down on this leg. All right, now my elbow, it's gonna come to the inside and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this elbow up right here. All right, now I'm in, I'm in the same position I was before. All right, but I'm gonna go back the other way. All right, I'm gonna go back the other way. I'm gonna circle through, all right. I'm gonna circle back, lay back, and I'm gonna get him in the saddle right here, okay? I gotta readjust, but I'm still in the same position, okay? All right, I go back, he bellies out. I can't, I can't put him through. I'm gonna shove this knee forward, lift it, shelf it. This elbow comes inside right here, and I go back the other way, right here. Shelf it right there, all right? Who's got it? You guys want to see it again? No? You guys just want to hit it? Yeah. All right. I break this guy down. I can't get him through. I'm going to shove this, shove his knee with my knee. I'm going to shelf it. I can lift on the ankle. I can lift on the knee. I like lifting on the ankle first and then getting that knee real high. Okay, then I clamp his elbow and I clamp my elbow to his knee. Right here on the inside of his thigh. I lay back, get him in my saddle right here. All right. Let's see it. One, two. Guys. My coach says, Marinelli, come out front. And I'll come out front and I'll, and I'll get a cement job and I'll take him to his back, right? Or cow catcher, same thing. Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is gonna be a little different. All right, so this, uh, this kind of chokes and hurts a little bit. So partner, be careful, okay? Don't. So he's gonna be laying flat. All right, and I'm gonna come out front and he's gonna base up. Now, the whole key to this move is getting my shoulder underneath his armpit, all right? It's kind of like a three-quarter Nelson, but I don't have this leg hooked, all right? I don't have the leg hooked. So I, I, can, get my, I can get my shoulder underneath, okay? My leg, it's not hooked. I'm coming out front and I'm getting my shoulder underneath, all right? He's gonna be facing up on all fours, all right? I'm gonna be putting my shoulder underneath his armpit real deep all right if i if i'm not deep and my shoulder is on top of his back i can't get my lock all right i can't get my lock on top of his neck right here all right my lock it's going to be right right here on top of his neck knock to the side it's going to be on top my shoulder is underneath i put my lock on top of his neck and my elbows pressed together okay now i don't like locking like this i like locking like a little cheesy finger lock not like this, all right? It's like this, right? So I get more torque when I when I press my, my elbows down together. I don't like pressing like this. I like going like this, okay? Now, when I put him through and put him over here, he's gonna be down on his back. My shoulder is pressing his chest, okay? You good? Yep. All right. Now, my shoulder's pressing his chest and he's gonna try to come through, but it's, it's only gonna get tighter, okay? You good? Yep. All right. From here, I break him, I get out to the side. It's kind of like a surprise attack. I'm, I'm putting my shoulder underneath and I'm, and I'm jumping to it, okay? I kind of jump to it, I clamp my elbows together and my lock is on top of his neck. It's not to the side. It's on top, I put him through, take him down and pin him, all right? From a cross wrist, all right, from a cross wrist, this guy's gonna be bellying down, okay? He's gonna belly down so I can't tilt him up. Okay, let's say I can't go to that tilt, all right? Um, so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna jump. This hip is gonna be on this side of the mat right here. I'm gonna get my hip on the side of the mat, okay? I'm keeping this wrist throughout the whole move. Okay, if I don't have my hip on the mat, I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna have the right leverage. Okay, if I'm here, I'm not gonna be able to get him over, okay? Who all knows Logan Stieber? Anyone? All right, yeah, he wrestled at Ohio State, four-time national champ. He had this move a lot in high school and still did in college. So it works, but it's a uh, it's pretty simple move, but it's really effective, all right? Even at uh, even at like a really young age, okay? So I'm out, I got my hip on the mat, 
I'm reaching, I'm, cr I'm, I'm cross facing, I'm gonna grab his elbow. I don't grab his wrist, I grab his elbow and I pull and his, his elbow is gonna come up on my hip. Okay, it's gonna come up all the way from here to all the way over here. Okay, I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. Now watch, my, I'm kinda high right now. I, I, don't, I want my chest to be under, all right? I, I, don't, I want the leverage to be, uh, to be a lot better here, okay? So I'm gonna pull his, his elbow up. I'm pulling his elbow up. Now, as I, pull, as I roll him over, his elbow is coming up high right on my hip, okay? From here, he, he can't pull his elbow through, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna clamp his head with my leg. I'm not touching my legs. I'm gonna get called for a scissor, okay? My leg is gonna pull his arm through, or it's gonna push his head. I can let go of his, his arm right here, but this this arm I'm, I'm I'm keeping a hold of it, okay? Now try to pull your try to pull your arm through. Yeah, he can't he can't move here. All right, it's really tight, okay? So here, I break him down, get a cross wrist, I jump to the side, okay? I jump to my right hip, I cross face, pull the elbow through, I pull him to his back, roll him over, and I get this elbow up on my hip right here. From here, I got the pin, I got the fall, but I'm, I'm gonna make it tighter by pulling his, his arm or his head through, okay? Pushing my knee on his head. I don't lock my, I don't lock my legs. All right, I'm right here. All right? So you guys gotta get out, okay? Now, when this guy lines up on me, all right? All right, actually, before he lines up, I wanna focus on my hands, okay? I'm not putting any pressure on my hands, okay? I can, I don't like, my hands on the mat, but I don't like leaning over and putting any pressure on my hands, all right? This, this top guy's motive is to get me on my belly or get me on my face, okay? I wanna be back, sitting back, my hands are really light and my elbows are kinda tilted in a little bit, okay? I like having my elbows in. I don't like putting my elbows out, okay? My elbows are in, now as he lines up, all right? Now, he's lining up on the on, on my left side. All right, he's already beating me. Like I said, he's already beating me on his inside, inside hand right here. So my main goal is to get in with my elbow on the side that he has my elbow on here, right here, okay? Get my elbow inside, and as my elbow is coming inside, I'm, I'm knee sliding my outside foot, or my outside knee is knee sliding up. Okay, I'm going against where he wants me to go. Okay, he wants me to go. He wants to take me this way. All right. Well, I'm 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 kind of sliding with his with his momentum. Okay. If I went here, he can chop me down. Okay, and he can bring me down right there. Okay. Now, if I knee slide and he brings me that way, I'm knee sliding and I'm going I'm going with with his momentum. Okay. I'm bringing this knee up. This elbow comes in. All right. So as he lines up. He pressures, I knee slide, I knee slide, my elbow comes in, then I work up, this leg, this leg mm. comes up. Okay, now, to beat this hand, you don't need to grab it. I don't need to grab this hand because he's gonna be coming over top to grab this hand, all right? Then I'm in trouble, okay? Now, when I come up and this hand's inside, all I have to do is hit and I bring this elbow, I bring this elbow inside. Now, when, I, when my elbows are in, I don't let him back in, okay? I seal off the pockets, okay? Everyone knows Brandon Sorensen, right? Real tough. This is, this is how he's good on bottom. He doesn't let people inside of his elbows, okay? If my elbows are out, this guy can claw me. He can do whatever. Yeah, he can ride me. He can do a lot of stuff. But if, if his elbows, if my elbows are in, he has nothing, okay? He has nothing to, to hold on to. Then I come up, my head's up. Then I, I'm in my stance. I'm ready for him to attack. And I cut, and I'm in my stance right here. Okay. From the bottom, I line up. I'm lying on my hands. All right. I bring my elbow in. I knee slide, and I bring my leg up. Then all I'm doing is I'm hitting, hitting his hands. Okay. I hit, and I bring it out. Okay. It's a real quick, it's a real quick movement right here. I bring it up, then I circle, and I'm out. Okay. Let's practice that. I'll walk around and help you guys a little bit. All right, focus on knee sliding as you bring that elbow in real quick, okay? My whole goal on top, when I ride a guy, he's got me beat already right here. 
So I want to get in. Okay, I want to either get here or a claw. So his goal is to get inside, right here. Then he's coming up. Yeah, his knee side and keep that in. All right, he's keeping that in. Now, see he's grabbing. All you got to do is hit, get that elbow inside. Now he's cutting, cutting and getting his one. Okay? Let's see it. One, two. I don't know about, uh, I don't know, it's like maybe like eight or ten years old when they start riding legs. They start getting into the, the groove of riding and stuff like that. So. It's, it's really important when this guy puts a leg in. I don't. I personally don't like this guy having a leg in right now. Okay, I don't. I don't like it. Even if uh, if he gets in, what I really want to do is I want to unwind. All right, and I want to. I'm gonna shove just like I said on on bottom. I'm gonna knee side and shove this knee forward. Now what I'm gonna do. I, he doesn't like being on his butt. Okay, he's gonna try to <clears throat> get me in a claw and crab ride and whatnot. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna be on my elbow. All right, whatever whatever side I go on, whatever side I, I knee slide on, all right, I'm not gonna go to my elbow. Okay, I'm gonna stay on my, I'm gonna stay on my, uh, my hand right here. Now, my main goal is getting my hips out of his hips. Okay, just like on the eastern tilt, you want them in the saddle, right? I wanna be out of the saddle, I wanna be up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift and elevate, I'm gonna elevate my, my legs, Okay, and I'm gonna circle my legs out. Okay, I circle my legs out, and I'm and I'm taking them down right here. Okay, so I'm gonna hit it super slow. Okay, this guy's a leg in. Okay, I'm knee sliding. I don't I don't I don't care how how much he's cranking on me. I'm knee sliding, and I'm getting him to his hip. Then I'm popping my hips up. All right, he doesn't like this. Okay, I can either come out and, and circle that way. But I really like going here so I can turk and go here, catch his face, and pin him. Okay. All right, this is uh, really crucial that when I get him over to his hip here, I don't go on my elbow. All right. If I go over to my elbow, he's going to get a wrist and he's going to tilt me up. Okay. He's got the leg in. I knee slide. All right. This knee's forward. I pop him to his hip. Then I come up right away, okay? I pop my hips up right away. I step out and I take him down. Take him down to his back. All right, let's see it. One, two. My whole goal in this move is to get my elbow to my side here. My elbow is to my side and I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk or I'm, I'm scooping my hips under and I'm gonna tackle and I'm gonna grab this leg right here with my inside, with my inside arm. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head hunt. I'm gonna cradle. Right here, it's a real fast move. I'm cradle, I got a cradle locked up right here, and I head on and I pin him. All right, a lot of guys from Okie State, they hit this move a lot. Um, Terry, Terry Brands taught me this move. All I'm doing is I'm sitting out, I'm, I'm getting my elbow under his leg right here, get my elbow under, then I head hunt right here. I look right here, stack it up. All right. I'll walk around and show you guys um, the, the details and stuff, but just focus on which arm is going under his leg. It's the, the side that he has the leg on. Okay, I get under, get my arm under his leg right here. That's all I need. I head hunt. And a lot of times, this guy will bring his head back so he won't get cradled. Then all I need to do is I can hip heist and come out. Okay, because he's, he's getting out of the saddle. Okay, I'll, I'll head height. And I'll get out. Okay? I'm under his leg. I'll head hot, cradle. Right there. Alright, let's see it. One, two.